curious about where Chainlink is heading this year? Then I got you, because Joe Blow is here to let you in on what the experts are saying about this project that has been getting quite the attention since its launch. This is Joe Blow's Crypto with Mr. Know-It-All on the side. So, I've been hearing lots of stories about Chainlink. Not only is this one of the most popular blockchains out there, but people, especially those who are interested in buying Link, are most curious if this could be worth their money or would this just decrease the digits in their accounts? Okay, Joe, hold your horses for a <laughs> Because as we all know by now, nothing is really certain when it comes to crypto. Yeah, yeah. That was probably one of the first things that I've heard when I was just dipping my toes into water. You see, around the years 2018 to 2019, both Chainlink and its enthusiasts are not having the best time of their lives. The price is tragically going down. Hence the left and right suggestions of selling instead of keeping it in the portfolio. Well, are you saying that its direction in the future is not going to be good? Come on now, I may help you and our viewers in predicting where Chainlink is heading, but I don't hold the cards in my hand. Remember, there are tons of factors that affect the price changes of these cryptocurrencies. So, how do you suggest we can better understand these predictions once and for all? As I was saying, after those years when they had a bearish market, things changed quickly as they shocked the doubters with their bull run. What did I tell you in our last video? You should have patience in dealing with these changes in this market, Joe. So, just wait it out? Of course not, Joe. Why don't we first discuss the things that would likely affect the price movements of Link? I bet that by the end of the video, many of you would probably have the same predictions as me regarding this topic. Ha, huh, I like that. Let us make this more interactive, shall we? Okay, Mr. Know-It-All, hit me with what do you know. First of all, the community is what creates the hype. Obviously, Link's massive price change from under 50 cents to more than $50 gains so many loyal enthusiasts. As of the moment, its value is at $20.70. We've seen some lows last year around August, but during late September of 2023, it started climbing the chart again and is still doing well right now. I mean, I could also be loyal to something that will let me gain thousands of dollars as well. But that is the thing, Joe. Even though these people have seen the potential of Chainlink to bounce back from its lowest of low, they eventually got bored of it when Link reached that peak. Hmm. So to put it simply, a community can help any crypto to gain recognition and more supporters, but it could also be the one to cause doubts among interested investors? Exactly, Joe. The Link Marine does not essentially make or break the value of the coin. But what I am saying is that if you are taking an interest in any cryptocurrency, you should research what its community is claiming about the coin because this could definitely influence the buyer's decision. Aside from the community, what else should be in my checklist before adding Chainlink to my portfolio? In relation to that, let me briefly talk about marketing as well. What about it, though? We have already established that Chainlink is a well-known name in this market. Its marketing has something to do with that fame as well. I know that they don't advertise a lot like the others, but the partnerships that they are sealing are what matters as it gives them an edge to get that respect in the industry. I get it. I would definitely trust something that is related to established names and brands as well, more than the other options. Moving on to decentralization. Getting into the interesting stuff now. Yes, Joe. This is very important as well. Though Chainlink is said to be a decentralized Oracle network, many would beg to disagree. During its launch, a huge amount of its tokens was given to the team. Ain't it a bit against the definition of decentralized? Anyway, it is also backed by the supply of link tokens, wherein more than 25% of it are held by the top 10 wallets. I'm sorry, but can you make it a bit more understandable for the beginners out here? To cut it short, a decentralization would help in achieving a fairer decision-making and service to its potential buyers and holders. Every member would have access to the same data. So yeah, if it is more centralized, then things could be a bit biased, and of course more problems are likely to happen in the future. Now that is something that people should consider and educate themselves about when it comes to buying a new crypto. Another thing that you should know about Chainlink is its impressive technology. Technology. Things could possibly continue to move in the right direction for Link if they keep on moving with the trends and innovations. Okay, so keep an eye out for its future plans and developments. Got it. What else? Keep them coming. Now, chart is one of the most important things that you should look at before putting your money in any financial market. As for Chainlink, it is looking good even though it took around two years to get to the $50 price point. Many investors base their decision of selling or buying 
just by looking at the charts as it is where you will see the changes in the prices throughout the year. Right, you cannot just blindly decide to buy or sell without looking at Link's charts. Let us also talk about the team behind this project. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about how necessary it is to look at the narrative of every cryptocurrency before putting your money in it. Indeed, Joe. Anyone who has been in the crypto market for quite a while now probably heard about Sergei Nazarov. Not only does this guy have a great reputation in the blockchain community, but many people were keen on thinking about the possibility that he could be Satoshi Nakamoto. Additionally, Eric Schmidt is their advisor. That information helped people in putting their trust in Chainlink as well. Great team, but does not guarantee great results and money still. Getting impatient about my price predictions for Link, Joe? You are right with what you said anyway. Also, a quick disclaimer that everything that I have mentioned are just a few of the things that you all should consider before getting involved in Chainlink. There are a lot of other factors that could either push Link's bull run or put it back in another low. I would definitely keep note of that. So, tell me, Mr. Know-It-All, where do you think is Chainlink heading in the next few weeks or months? With an estimated circulating supply of 691 million Link, Link could possibly hit another all-time high of $400. That is, if the market conditions remain normal, meaning no huge news, changes, or catastrophic events that could potentially make the price go down. That is just one of the predictions that we have. There are more? Drop it then. Of course, things could go either way. That is why we are not sticking alone on believing that Chainlink would continue to soar high. We do not want to give those huge expectations for our subscribers. I also want you to know that there is a possibility for the price to hit around $75, which is so far from the hundreds of dollars that it could likely reach as well if all conditions are in their favor. At this point, you're blowing my mind with these numbers. On a more realistic scale anyway, considering the factors and more that I have discussed, there is a possibility for Link to get to $225 as well. Keep in mind that there are more competitors now in the Oracle's market compared to when Chainlink was first introduced. But despite the new projects getting recognized as well, Chainlink remains to be on top in this category. With all the institutions, brands, and names linked to it, I guess that we would still see more of Chainlink in the coming years. So, do you think that Link holders and those interested in buying can stop overthinking about Chainlink? One thing that I have learned is to take everything with a grain of salt as well. This conversation is just one of the millions of resources out there that could affect the investor's decision about Chainlink. Continuously learning and analyzing the market armed with knowledge is what will definitely give anyone the confidence to fully explore the crypto world. All right, you made your point. Thanks for always having the answers to my ever curious mind. If you enjoy this conversation as much as I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment about the next topic that you want us to discuss. No stones unturned with Mr. Know-It-All. We'll see you on our next one.